I am going to be doing something that has come very highly requested. I'm going to be doing a color cabinet tour. This is kind of like a salon tour, but basically a color cabinet where I keep all of my supplies. I'm going to show you what I like to restock, what I keep on hand at all times, and give you a tour of how we organize our color. So I'm going to be doing this because a lot of you asked after my last um, beauty supply haul, which was almost a year ago now, if I would do this, and I'm now getting to it. So if you want to see what's in my color cabinet, let's get going. So this is my color cabinet. I actually share it with Sarah who works here. All of our stylists either share with one other person or have their own depending on if they're full-time or part-time. I only work one day a week so I share with someone. So these cabinets we actually got at Ikea. If you have followed me for a while you will recognize these as the old stations at our first location. So we used to have these up front next to our mirrors and the girls would keep all their stuff in them. But when we came to this salon we did a new station setup, so we put these in the back. And I have to say, I have loved these for holding color and supplies. It's been the best thing ever. So it's just a frosted glass in front, which is nice because it looks really classy, but then also keeps the product hidden so you don't see a bunch of messes. So if you open it right here, we have all of our shades EQ up here. And how we organize them is if you see in here, we have these little like plastic boxes and we got those at the dollar store actually. And we just got four of them and we glued them together. And as you can see, we have all of our shades in here and we have it organized from levels nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, all the way down. So we put all of our lighter shades here and we just work our way down. And something that we do is we label them. So I have these little stickers and a Sharpie. And every time my assistant restocks our color, I just have her label them and put them away. And this just keeps it really easy and organized. And it's nice because I can see exactly what I have, what I need. And when my assistant does inventory, it's really easy for her to see what we're out of. Okay, so I just wanted to go over a little bit my go-to shades, what I like to keep on hand, what I usually get at the beauty supply when I go. Um, so I don't like to keep a ton of stuff on hand just because I only work one day a week. And also, as you can tell, I share with someone and so our space is kind of limited. And the beauty supply is really close to where we live, so I don't like to do like a color collection. Maybe if I had this whole thing to myself, I would. But I like to keep what I need on hand and then I just send my assistant once a week. She restocks every Tuesday and we're good for the week. So right now, I sent her on a restock this morning. So we have Redken shades, and our go-tos for the level nines are 9B, 9P, 9N, 9NB, 9GB, and 9NA. And we have her always get that. We do have a few others in our cabinet, like 9B, 9RB, 9GI, and we don't use those as often. So for example, this is a 9GI, and it's about halfway full. So I only have her restock that if we run out of it, but we usually have stuff like this on hand at all times because we don't blow through it as quickly as we do with the other ones. And then we have 8N, 8V, 8T, 8NA, 8GG, and 8GI, and those are my go-tos for the level eights. And then for level sevens, it's 7N, 7P, 7B, 7T, 7NA, and 7GB. And then for level sixes, I do 6N, 6NA, 6T, 6NW, and 6NB. And then for the fives, fours, and threes, I just have her get 3N, 4N, 5N, um, 4NA, 5NA, and then also like a 5G and a 4G. And that way I have a warm tone, a neutral tone, and an ash tone in those levels if I need them. So that's what I do for shades. Um, it stays pretty stocked, but I feel like it's kind of a waste of time if you stock up on everything, you're gonna be wasting money when you could just go and restock once a week. So as you guys know, Redken Shades EQ is my go-to for a toning line. I do use a few other things, but that is my ride or die. I've been actually thinking of doing a video series on it, everything you need to know about Redken Shades EQ, down to the processing time, how to mix it, the underlying pigments, what you can use it for, all of that stuff. So if that's a video you would be interested in, let me know. So then as we work our way down, you can see that this is our permanent color drawer or shelf. And we don't do a ton of permanent colors. And if you follow me, you kind of know that I mostly do blondes and I don't like to use permanent color on blondes, but I do do it for gray coverage and sometimes low lights are all over colors. 
So I always make sure that I have a good amount of neutrals in stock. So I have a 4NN, 6NN, 7NN, 8NN. Those are really good for gray coverage clients, and that's what I use permanents for. So double pigments are really important to me. And then I also like to carry the NAs in the same level system. So 6NN, 6NA, 7NN, 7NA. I have all of those for my gray coverage clients. And then we do have like a 6N, a 4N, just in case we need to use those. And then right here we have our golder tones. So we have 7G, 5NWB, 6BG, all of those warm tones. And we have a few different color lines here. So for gray coverage, I like to use Age Defy by Joyco. But then for low lights or all over colors that don't need gray coverage, I like to use Luma Shine by Joyco. And then for semi-permanent um, low lights, I always low light with a demi or semi for the most part. And I like to use the Redken Shades EQ Cream. So I have a 7G here. And then you guys know Colorance is my favorite, Goldwell. So I have a 7G here as well. I always keep 7N, 7G on hand in Goldwell for low lights. And then I also have like 7NA here, and that's for a root smudge at the bowl. So I have a few different demis and permanents mixed in here. And then we also have a toner from Fanola in here. This is the TO2. We have a Gaiteng toner, a, a toner from Goldwell. So I like to organize it so it goes neutrals, warm tones, ash tones, and then toners. And then everything that is not in a box anymore, if we threw the box away, we just put it in this little container. So in here we have 6NN, 4RV, 8N, just a mix of colors. And that way they're just not loosely thrown about. So that is our color portion. And then if you move down here, we have our lightener and our foils. So as you guys know, Fermar has my heart. I always have Fermar foils on hand. These are their holiday foils, Hala Yay. They're so cute, they're like a purple ombre. And I love using colored foils with silver foils because then I can know which pieces um, are the hairline pieces and which are low lights and it helps me stay organized while I foil. And then I also have in here just their regular silver foil. And then I have this box of foil that I ordered on Amazon. And I actually did a video comparing from our foils with regular foil. And that video will be up on my channel next week. I'm super excited about that one because I don't do a lot of reviews or product testing. But this was a really interesting subject to me since a lot of us use Fremar. And I wanted to see if Fremar really was better than just your generic foil. So if you guys are interested in that video, it'll be up next week. And I'm super excited about it. Um, so then next to our foils, we have our lighter. Of course, I have Scorchcock Blondie. You guys know that this has been my favorite for the last year at least. It has a bond enhancement inside of it, so it keeps the hair healthy as you lift. Lifts really well, I love it. But, you guys wanna peek in here. Look at this stash that I have from Fanola, and more is on its way. So this is the No Yellow Lightning Cream. And I will say that I am a Fanola sponsored artist, so they do send me things. And this is one of the creams that they sent me to work with. And at first I was really nervous to use this because it is a cream lightener and I'm not familiar with cream lighteners. I tried one in hair school, hated the lift, so I've stuck to powders. So I was really nervous, but this lightener is incredible, you guys. And I wouldn't say that if I didn't believe it. I started using it about a month and a half ago. I didn't really post about it until I knew I liked it. But once I knew I was obsessed with it, I've been posting about it constantly. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably know that. But it's a purple base, so that's why it's the No Yellow. It goes along with their No Yellow shampoo. It's the same idea, but for a lightener. And it smells like bubble gum. So when you mix it up, you're getting like a treat for your nose because it's unreal. Is it really? Yeah. Like, <laughs> I just got that all over my nose. Well, it looks like frosting, so that's a good way to... I don't know if you can smell if it's not in the bowl with, like, developer. It's hard, but when you're mixing it... You can't really. Oh, you can't smell. Okay, we're going to see if Ricky thinks that it smells like um, bubble gum because he doesn't believe me. Because I'm, like, you... the one filming, so... I mean, does it really? <laughs> we're going to do a little test. Okay, so they have a designated developer. This is a 3.5. I don't use this for full head highlights, but I do use it for like the hairline or if I'm just doing like a refresher because it does lift so, so amazing. So we're gonna mix it up. And you guys can see it's like the prettiest lilac lavender. Okay, no, it's not. Wait, do you wanna film? I'll film you. Hopefully this is a good reaction. Okay, mom and truth. Does it smell? Oh, it does. Right? Oh, hey. Right, it smells okay. like bubble gum. What do you think? Does it smell like bubble gum? Right? Well, that does. I, I know. Do. Me mixing my nature. You're like, Aww. no, we're going to convert her to this stuff. So yeah, here's a little sneak preview of what that does. Say hi. Oh, guys, this is Hair Daddy. 
This is your official introduction no, to my channel. Three more people. My life. Three more. Oh, no, you're fine. Um, so anyway, Mackenzie was in one of my videos last year called The Secrets of Highlighting, and now she's dark, but she's still beautiful. And she's on our education team now, so she's if you guys... Heck of a lot better than She'll look better at classes. No. She's beautiful. She's funny. So go follow her on Instagram, Hair Daddy. So, like I was saying, this Vanola No Yellow Lightener is incredible. So, it comes in these little bags. It smells and looks like frosting, as I experienced earlier, just barely. Um, so, yeah, this is amazing. You guys need it. Salonguys.com under the Fanola tab. You can order their purple shampoo. You can order this, anything you want. And I believe I have a discount code for them. And if I do find that, I will leave it in the description box below. All right, so now right here, we are getting more into, like, tools and everything. So we have all of our color brushes in this marble jar that we got from Target. So as you guys know, I am obsessed with gold well brushes, from our brushes. That's basically what we use. I have the pretty little ombre brush, which Ricky gave me and I love. Um, I have a Fanola brush. So I have like a combined arsenal of tools right here. I love using these ones at the bowl. So I have a bunch of these too. Um, but yeah, for sure, gold well and from our, my favorite brushes. Okay, so then I have another one of these marble jars. And in this, we have processing caps and gloves, just all of those things that we need. And then right next to it, I just have a bunch of thread. So this is what we use for extensions. We have five different colors of these in my extension line so that you have options for all of your clients. So if you're interested in buying these for extensions, we have them on our website. And they're kind of big because they're big spools, which will last you forever, but they don't fit in my cabinet up front, so I keep them back here. Okay, so next we have developer and bond builders. So as you guys can see here, I have all of my specialty developers right here. So I have the Goldwell Color on Lotion. I have the Swarchkopf Blondie developer. I always keep 20, 30, and seven on hand in this because those are what I use the most. And then I also have the Fanola developers for their lightener. So I have 10 and 40, I just ran out of 20. And then you guys saw that I have the 3.5 and I'll use that around the hairline sometimes, um, just because it's a little more easy on the hair. And then I also have Joyco Lumashine 5. So I only have specialty developers right here. And then I will show you guys, I'll put a clip in right here, but here at the salon we provide developer. So we have a wine rack hanging on the wall and it has all of the generic like 10 through 40 developers and uh, shades processing solution. So I use those and then I just stock up on anything else I need. Um, and then we also have a lot of Olaplex. Olaplex takes good care of us and they always send us packages so we're restocked. So I have two of the number ones right here. And then I also have a number two, and then I have the gallon somewhere. And then I have a bunch of the shampoo and conditioner, but I actually took it to my house because I wanted to be selfish with that and use it on my own hair. I will gladly take an all of Yeah, oh okay. totally, you can. I seriously I'm like, look at this, I got it like three months ago. I'm like, Because you just use a little bit, you know? You're like, I'm taking that. Um, so yeah, I have the Olaplex right here, and we use that on almost all of our clients. It's included in our pricing, so Olaplex is really important to us. Um, actually, Fanola has something similar too. They have a new bond enhancement that I'm trying out and I have that in here as well. It's called Fiber Fix Bond Fixer. And so when I'm using the Fanola No Yellow Lightener, I mix this one in with it. And it just comes with this little guy and so this is how you mix it in. And I used it today on one of my blonde clients and I was really impressed with it. It didn't slow down the processing time at all. It was awesome. And then they have their own shampoo and conditioner, kind of like the number two in Olaplex. That's what their, it's bond connector number two. And then they have a shampoo, like how Olaplex has a shampoo now. Okay, let's get comfortable. So on our very last shelf, we have all of our bowls. If you guys have been watching my videos for a while, you know that I love using gold, uh, glass bowls. So these are my favorite ones. I got them at Target and they are ceramic glass and I have all different designs. And the reason that I love using glass bowls so much is A, it prevents the product from swelling too much and B, it keeps your product weighted. My biggest pet peeve is when you're using a regular color bowl and you're almost out of product and you dip your bowl in and the whole bowl like moves. So I like that the glass bowl just keeps everything in place. And I use those for lightener. And then for um, color, so any permanent color, low lights, toning at the bowl, um, if I'm doing like a root smudge, I use these plastic ones. And the reason being is I don't want to stain the glass ones with color. You can see some of these have used color and there's stains in them. So since these are lightener, I don't want to mix the two. So I have designated bowls for lightener and then designated bowls for color. So I use plastic ones. They're still from Target, super cute. Um, and these ones I use for color. 
Um, okay, and then I also have my applicator bottles down here. I love Redkins, so I have a few of these big ones, and then I have a few of these small ones. I use the big ones for toning. I use the small for toning as well, but I use these more for like hairline toning if I'm doing a different formula for like the money pieces, or if I'm just refreshing like the ends. And I really like using this one because it's really precise and it won't go everywhere if you're just trying to like tone one area. So I have my bottles down there. Okay, you guys, I hope you really enjoyed this cabinet tour. I know that that was kind of a quick, fun video, but I thought it was a really good video to show you guys. I love seeing videos like this from other stylists just to see what you use and how you organize and get ideas. So I thought this would be fun to film. Let me know if you would like to see more videos like this or more about formulating like I talked about with the Red King Shades EQ. I had a lot of fun filming this video. And before we go real quick, I wanted to show you guys Ricky's cabinet. Oh, Look at his cabinet is way better than mine and he's only been here what 10 months oh, and God. when he first started he had like no color and he was using salons color and now look at him this is like literal goals he has from mar on every shelf he has his own freaking thing of color brushes all the developer he has a scale and all of these freaking toners which i steal from him all the time because he's the best. <laughs> so yeah that's goals right there so if you want to be like fully stocked like ricky then i totally recommend it because i am just not that kind of stylist i go week by week um all right guys thank you so much for watching this video like i said let me know if you want more videos like this in the comments below and also let me know what types of videos you would like to see i'm trying to upload twice a week now to be very consistent for you guys and i would love feedback on videos you would like to see thank you so much for watching don't forget to follow me on instagram and like and subscribe to my channel have a great day you guys at jay-z styles at jay-z styles i'll put it <laughs> in the bio <laughs>